The overall goal of the following experiments is to objectively measure individuals' motivation for different food rewards, as well as the value they ascribe to them. In one experiment to examine motivation, a participant is required to work to win or see different rewards. To test subliminal motivation, a potential reward is presented so briefly that the conscious mind does not register it, and the participant's willingness to work for the subliminal reward is measured. Another experiment requires the participant to place a monetary value on different food rewards, thus yielding a measure of value that can be easily understood and compared. These experiments are also done in an MRI scanner to correlate brain activity with motivation. Experiments such as these can be used to demonstrate the potential effectiveness of selected drug treatments in binge eating and obesity. The main advantage of this technique over existing measures like self-report is that it allows us to objectively measure food-related motivation and evaluation. Individuals new to this technique may struggle because there aren't many examples of grip force tasks uh, published in the literature and there are no full and clear descriptions of how to design and set up the tasks. We first had the idea for developing these methods when we were trying to design measures to examine the effects of a novel anti-obesity agent that alters the reward value of foods. And what these methods provided us with were objective measures of food reward that we could examine and see how they were affected by the treatment. Set up the force transducer, data acquisition system, and stimulus laptop as described in the text protocol. Place the grip force transducer.